Hi friends, my name is Chrissy. Welcome to the Yoga Still. My hope is for this to become a space for the woo curious, the woo adventurous, <laughs> the woo experts to, um, to connect to themselves through um, practices and tools that I offer and teach about here. So welcome. Today I'm going to be doing a flip through of the Practice You deck from Elena Brower. I've also reviewed previously the um, Art of Attention deck of hers. It's completely different. They're both so beautiful resources. Um, this one, Art of Attention does as well, but this one has a um, journal that you can buy separately that is absolutely stunningly beautiful. Um, it is somewhere in my office. I've spent the last half hour tearing my office apart. I don't know where it is. It's somewhere in here. Obviously, it doesn't want to be shown today. The cards want to shine on their own. So we're going to flip through this deck today. I traditionally do deck tours from a um, from a down from a you know tabletop view, but I didn't feel like getting my setup set up today. So we're going to do a flip through face facing forward facing face facing. Let me know if you like this better. If you don't like this at all, let me know. So this deck is chonky. Um, it's nearly impossible to actually shuffle to like rifle shuffle. I just do it overhand. Um, and this is what I consider like your standard card. And this shows you the difference in the size. So this would be playing card deck sized. And this is um, the Practice You deck. These cards are the most um, neutral <laughs> cards, I think, that I own. Um, I felt secure having these on my desk at work, even though um, I don't share... I didn't share my witchiness at my previous job. I felt okay having these out, using them. Um, they're very non-threatening. There's nothing woo-woo about these cards other than their cards. Um, the back is beautiful. It has these watercolor stripes. And the, the, the majority of the cards have watercolor, little watercolor arts with, journal prompts and that is how i suggest using these cards as um the focus of your of a yoga practice the focus of a journaling practice um the focus of a meditation but using these cards to um to create a focus when that's feel like when you feel like it's something that you need so Let's flip through these. I'm not going to read the entirety of every card. One, because that would take forever. And two, you know, I want to give you something to chew on when you get these. So let's flip through. So this card um, is a breathwork practice. An embodied, using your hands, breathwork practice. This card is another somatic experience practice focused on tenderness. This is who I am. A breathwork practice around forgiveness. Mm. A somatic knowing invitation. Integrity and trust. How love flows through you. Looking at your habits. Hmm. A solar plexus invitation. Each day is a gift. Inner dignity. Comfort in silence. A self affection, invitation, hand on your heart, feeling love, mm. being receptive and ready, a 
I love this card. Embodying faith. Insight through breath. Inner and outer steadiness. Feeling at home within yourself. Beautiful, beautiful deck. Experiencing polarities. Finding creativity within your body. Seeing with your eyes and your heart. Yellow. Connecting with yourself and the world through breath. Hands on your solar plexus and connecting to your roots. I want to read this card. We are related to each other. By taking care of myself, I take care of you. By taking care of you, I take care of myself. This is my prayer for knowing how to help. I, I, this card is my heart. Pray for softness. Prayer to stay conscious. Prayer for inner dignity. Creating unshakability in your soul. Bridging self-care and service. Speaking your truth. Just beautiful. Practicing freedom and allowing liberation. Releasing to the life force energy. Listening, hearing, and being heard. Another body-centered breathwork practice. Acknowledgement of blessings. Serving from your heart. Shifts in perception. My actions are prayers going up. Believing in yourself. Prayer for clear vision and insight. Being listened to. Evolution within your family. Acknowledgement of oneness. Prayer for evolution. Hmm. Being reminded of the gift of this life. Spiky mountains. Offering trust. Getting grounded. Believing in love. Making choices. Receiving blessings and trust. Purple circle. Blue bubbles. Breathing with some rose quartz. I draw this card so often. Attention to what 
your amplifying and what you release. And taking care of yourself as you help. So I typically draw three cards when I do um, a reading here. But I'm just going to do one today since these are more prompts than cards and then than oracle cards sometimes they create wonky things in a three card reading so i'm just going to do one today um under overhanded is the only way my hands can shuffle these cards and that's okay but as i shuffle i think of us as individuals as i lose cards i think of us as a collective and i trust that whatever comes up for us today there's room for reflection for each of us and maybe just maybe an epiphany for one of us. All right, so the card that I drew for us today was this big yellow puzzle pieces. I'll read the entirety of the card. What can you release to connect to the source of your power? So I'm going to invite you to close your eyes, put both feet on the floor, don't close your eyes if you're driving. I don't think you'd be watching YouTube if you were driving. But just in case, if you're driving, don't close your eyes. But if it's safe, close your eyes. Put your feet on the floor. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. And allow your intuition, your inner voice to respond. What can you release to connect to the source of your power? Just allow the answer to bubble up. What can you release to connect to the source of your power? The card also holds an affirmation that I will offer three times. This is how I welcome life force into my body. This is how I welcome life force into my body. And finally, this is how I offer life force into my body. Do you ready to open your eyes? Welcome became offer the last time. That's okay. It happens. Thank you so much for flipping through this deck with me. If you enjoy these deck tours, let me know. If you have this deck, if you have the journal that's missing in my office, I'd love to hear what you think. If there's any other ways that you use this deck. If you want to work with, um, with me, there are many options. Three. Three. Um, I offer narrative alchemy sessions, which are distance Reiki sessions, where your energy takes me on an adventure and then I recount that to you. Um, and the process is very healing and energizing or restful, whatever you need. Um, your soul knows what to show me. And I just mirror that back to you. I also offer new moon and full moon distance Reiki circles every month. And um, I have an online studio called The Still, where we use self-reflection, crystals, oils, yoga, meditation, breath work to connect more fully to our inner light. We are currently, this is spring 2021, we're currently working through the chakra system. At the end of the year, we're going to do elements and secondary chakras and um, I forget what else to round out the year, but um 2021 will be primarily focused on the chakra system. I would love to get to know you better. So um, comments are highly, highly welcome and encouraged. Thank you so much for sharing this time with me today. I hope this was beneficial and I hope to see you again soon. Have a great day.